the oven at like 4, 425, uh, and then after about an hour or so, we lower it to 375 to let it, I want, to, I want it to crisp okay. up. Nice. These recipes are for you to play with. We, okay. made, we made the dry, right. we'll let's use it. Okay, you, we're making a paste. Yeah. A tablespoon or? How much? I would say some potatoes. Maybe even three, that's a big turkey. Mary, those should be level tablespoons. Pretty much. Okay. Pretty much. Yeah, all right. Rub that bitch. <laughs> Excuse me, miss. <laughs> A little southern charm. <laughs> That's how you poor little darling. That's how we do down south. Excuse me, miss. Okay. Good. Get all up in there. <laughs> Okay, so you have the breast, you have the leg, flip it over, you want the back, and then the inside. Okay, someone else? <laughs> oh, there you go. It's okay. Yeah, all the way down. All the way down, all the way down. Mary, hey, you seem to be enjoying this more than a turkey. Well, girl, you don't want that girl with her legs. <laughs> no, this, this, this should be up underneath there too, shouldn't it? Yeah. The lady reveals nothing. <laughs> All right, so we want to cross her legs. Go etiquette. Okay. One on one. Hold it like right there, good. And then we're going to tie All right, so good. So we'll leave this to air dry in the refrigerator until tomorrow morning. That's going to help us crisp up the skin. We're going to start it at a high heat, and after like 45 minutes, lower the heat. Remember, 13 to 15 minutes per pound. That's as much. And then we're going to, uh, we're going to take our thermometer, stick it into the, into the thickest part of the leg and the thigh, 160 degrees. We take the turkey out, we let it rest. So it's 13 to 15 minutes. I thought it was 30 minutes per pound. Oh, hell no. Oh, to be really dry. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, okay, I don't know why I and, that. And? The proof will be in the pudding tomorrow when we cut into this turkey. This will be the best turkey you guys ever eat. The matcha mantere sauce. Um, you remember those uh, uh, mild standish uh, heroes that you make the day after Thanksgiving with the cranberry sauce from the, from the, from the can? <laughs> you will never be doing that again, I promise you. Once you taste this matcha mantere, it's, it's just amazing. It's just, and you can use it on roast chicken, you can use it on grilled shrimp, you can, I mean, it's going to be one of your favorite go-to sauces, and it's going to be something that nobody but you knows how to make. So your friends are going to be like, oh, ooh, what is this? And you're like, ooh, it's my secret. No. It's like you have to be no horror. Honey, if your house tells you to get the fuck out, first time! Well, first time my house says get the fuck out, I am out of there. I'm not paying Connie! I'm not going to be down to like records and all, like, what happened to my house for you? I don't care what happened. Keep the furniture, keep my clothes, I keep my, keep my phone. <laughs> okay. Well, first of all, the tamales. I want a team effort like we had, we, like we slayed that gnocchi yesterday. I want to do the same thing to the tamales today. So we're going to have two lines of three, and you guys are going to be, uh, you know, putting the tamales together. What we'll do is we'll have two bowls of masa, two bowls of tinga, and then you guys can just assemble and we'll have a long uh, hotel pan or something to stack them up. I'm going to do, I'll demo the first one. It's easy. It's, I mean, you guys mastered gnocchi, tamales is cake. Nice big leaf, nice wide enough. I'll be able to do that, right? So, you have your leaf, you have your masa, right? 
but a nice heaping tablespoon. You have your finger. With a fork, girl. <laughs> with mouth, with your mouth watering. It smells delicious. It mm -hmm. smells good. Taste better. So, oh, so oh. here you have your your tamale, right? Just use the leaves to like bring it together. You see? And then we're just going to we're going to put that baby to bed. And this is you see this is one leaf. It's nice. Okay, you have your tamale. You lay it down. Wow. <laughs> okay. So we should. Start making tamales. I have who's gonna who's gonna stand here? Maybe we need more food. Here. Here. Alright, let me try this. Did anybody taste the thing now? Yeah. Oh, it smells delicious. I need a little salt. Yeah, I think I can reach all the pots from over there. Hey, you almost need two hands to get this stuff off. Oh, just, you know what to do, Dad, do what I did the second time. Just look, do this, look. Just like that, okay. Does anybody have a penny? Yeah, that's enough. Yeah, that's enough. Otherwise, you're going to have nothing. You're going to run out of stinga. Hold it down. And then I'll do the stinga. That's my... Okay, that's enough. Okay, that's enough. Um, we want to get to work on the on the on the flans. We're gonna make two flans. I'm gonna demo one caramel. You guys are gonna do the other caramel, and then make the custard for both flans. We don't pour the the custard into the pan until the pan is in another baking pan with water inside it and with the oven door open. This way you just slide it in, okay? And then. We check it. How do you check the flan for doneness? This you gotta go in there, give it a jiggle. Just give it a jiggle. At the center, you see the center set up. As long as the center is liquid, that's not done. Once we take them out, once they're done, we're gonna set them aside by the window to cool, and then hopefully we'll have time to chill. Yeah. Oh, I have a special way of doing caramel because I don't use. Um, some people whisk it. Some people. All I do is tilt the pan. Mm -hmm. I tilt the pan. The water around. I just incorporate a little more sugar into the water until it's completely this way, my, my caramel never crystallizes. And have you ever had caramel crystallize? It gets these long sugar shards, and then you don't want that. You want a beautiful, clean, glossy caramel. So, um, mm, you smell that? That turkey's already saying howdy duty. Or mucho gusto, is what my turkey's saying. But basically what we're gonna do is just cut alongside the spine. Yeah, just like, just like a chicken. We got to put your arms on your heart. You got to stick them on your marshmallow. I don't want it. Yeah, go ahead. I'm good, I'm good. You got the marshmallow oh. right there. You want a marshmallow? Can I have a marshmallow? I'll stick the marshmallow right on. What's that? Mm. Oh, I'll go for the things. Wow, that's good. So where did you go? I need more graham crackers and more chocolate. chocolate. Who's working with me here? Graham crackers and chocolate, stop! <laughs> <laughs>